some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be covering freaking media, aka spanky pants, or as I like to call them, stanky pants, and the Michigan Constitutional Crusader as they attempt to audit a courthouse. And of course, it doesn't exactly go well for Stanky Pants, considering he's got a complete misunderstanding of Rule 1885. But what else is new? And so he gets himself arrested again. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Catching them all coming back from lunch. What does this have anything to do with protecting our First Amendment rights? All I see right here is you filming a bunch of women, which is kind of creepy. I'm sure they would be creeped out by you, MCC. And they go, we're here to help on our Persons entering the facility, no soliciting, smoke-free environment. Doesn't say anything about no cameras. Oh, funny you should mention that, considering that later on, you do happen upon this little gem right here. Funny how you notice it in your video, but it doesn't fit your overall narrative. Interesting, isn't it? Auditor that is currently talking is freaking media. He's the one that's going to get arrested here shortly. The cameraman who is uh, taking pictures of these walls is MCC, Michigan Constitutional Crusader. And as you can tell, he is an outstanding journalist, isn't he? I mean, this is just such riveting, action-packed content, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this rule that he's so hard on about. Rule 8115. Well, according to paragraph 3, section B of that paragraph, outside of a courtroom in areas of a courthouse, other than courtrooms, no one may photograph, record, or broadcast an individual without that individual's prior consent. And he claims that he knows this little rule backwards and forwards, and yet... Here he is misunderstanding it. It says individuals. It does not give any specifics as to who those individuals are or what office they hold. It just says individuals. So that's very broad right there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 
Well, now you want to know what I think about this. I think that MCC knows the uh, rules better than Spanky Pants, and he's trying to set Spanky Pants up for a fall so he can get some content. Wow, you've got a real good friend over there, Spanky Pants. Can I get a bill of the sergeant? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome to be nice. I'd like to speak with you. You guys are going to honor us. Hang on, Mr. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going yeah, we should have voted county clerk's office, treasurer's office, sheriff's department, it should be voted any services that he was building that are not court related and report. Yeah, Spanky Pants, you may want to check section D of that paragraph I just quoted because you know the local courts are allowed to set up their own limitations on um, filming in their courthouses. So just to let you know, because I know you uh, think you do your research, but it looks like you are just like any other frauditor. You are quite uh, deceptive. It doesn't even apply. If you've read the UCR, they got one more five. It says if there are other services within the courthouse that are not court related, if the R8.15 doesn't even apply, I can report whatever I can think that far, including the people that are inside the courthouse. There's a reason it says on their court rooms. Yeah, we got three uh, individuals in all places. You can't even get it all. You can't even get it out of here. I don't know what kind of... Oh, my God. Well, now it looks like they put up an alert for these three morons, so it won't be long before they come along and somebody's going to get put into a shiny new set of bracelets. So let's continue with the show. So if the treasurer is not particularly related to court service, then you're going to find out that I'm just telling you that you are a young guy that also. Have you noticed that uh, MCC has not really engaged anybody in any conversation whatsoever and is slowly inching his way toward the door? He knows what's coming. He doesn't really feel like being arrested today. He's going to let his buddy over there take the fall today so he can gather that great content. So, but you don't have that. You don't have that luxury. You want to the sheriff's department. So, you're accountable to the party. Just like all the employees that work within the courthouse are public employees, right? Yeah. 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 Ye
work on now. They have no iron minutes. All of their information is available on them. They can't change the name for salaries. I mean, either. I just want to go in and record what's publicly accessible. What I'm allowed to do. I'm not either, sir. You guys need to honor NCR 8.115. As it is written, that is it's interpreted by a judge. You understand there's a difference? As it is written. Yes, as it is written. It says that I can't, it means that I can come into the house and I can record whatever I can see as long as I'm not recording individuals or jurors without their permission. You can't even record, record jurors. Yes, sir. That is what it says. Um, no, that's not what it exactly says. In fact, if you remember what I just said, it states that the local courts can impose their own limits on filming in the courthouses. So, Spanky Pants, don't be too confident in yourself and everything that you think you know, because it might lead to your own demise. I mean, I've read the NCR many, many times. I've been yeah. in courthouses all over Michigan. And why is it that this is, this is one of the few courthouses that's still mm -hmm. not filed? Mm -hmm. that, that's all I want to know. What? That I can't record somebody without their prior consent? Okay, prior written consent. I'm still not recording anybody without their, permit, without their permission. So that 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 that, that yeah, that's a move that's a move point that we're trying to make because I know what I'm allowed to do. No, sir, I'm not trying to create anything. What I want to do is what I'm lawfully allowed to do under the court CR, which is come in through a courthouse and record what I can see, follow the rules, not recording individuals or jurors, but I can record the county employees. Ooh, you almost had it, Spanky Pants, considering that you said the word individuals. It does say individuals in the rules, but it doesn't say what individuals. So it's very broad. So you got to take into account the language of the document. It says individuals, which, like I said, is very broad, which can include Everybody in the courthouse, including officers, including staff, including all the uh, county employees, everybody, you moron. And that's it. I'm not trying to go, into, I'm not trying to go into a court courtroom. I'm not trying to disturb, disturb court service. I just want to do what I'm lawfully allowed to do. And that's another part you left out right there, Spanky Pants. It also says outside of the courtroom, you need individuals' consent to record them. Come on now, Spanky Pants. I thought you knew this document backwards and forwards. It is clear that you were only reading what you want to read or just cherry picking. But what else would I expect? You're a damn frauditor and your whole thing. Your whole spiel is about lying. And again, I ask, why is it that so many tax courthouses around Michigan allow us to come in and record with no grief whatsoever, but they're still being pulled out county by Calhoun? At this point, it's like dealing with a damn toddler. You keep telling them why the rules are there, what rules there are, but they just continue to ignore them, thinking that they can get their own way. Uh, but in this case, line D in that paragraph is the rationale behind why you keep getting the results that you get, that you keep on complaining about. If you had actually read the damn document, you would understand that. But it's becoming more and more apparent that you have not read it fully or even comprehend it. It is becoming more and more apparent that you have some pretty piss poor reading comprehension skills as well like wayne county and you know other counties that don't want to let somebody in they don't want to honor the ncr as it's written you know we can file what's called a lawsuit <laughs> to force you guys to honor of individuals of individuals yes, 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 yes. 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if i'm not recording individuals it does not matter you understand what I'm saying? That doesn't, you can't just prevent me from coming in here and recording just because there's private individuals or jurors in the building. And That's another, not what the have the NCR is written. That's not what it was intended to do. Another thing that it does say in there is that you can limit or terminate. Okay? Limiting means you have to allow it in the first place. 
terminating means you have to allow it in the first place. Right. I know what part of the document you're talking about now, and it also includes the word exclude, not just limit or terminate. You are excluding key factors out of your narrative right there. It means you can you can you can limit or terminate. you can't prohibit. You can it. it does not so say yeah, prohibit. No, 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 people are going in and out, no problem. He's doing his job, no problem. Not being that's your definition of being of, of a disturbance. But no, no, I'm absolutely not. I'm standing out of the way. Everybody's doing their business. Everybody, if you would have just let me go do what I know, I'm lawfully allowed to do. I'm just going to have to do You're good. I know how to record, dude. I know how to record. I know what the rules are. I know how to follow the rules. You understand? Absolutely. I can hook my camera to the wall so it records everything on the wall. It wouldn't be the first time I had it. What is my business? Number four to know that I can walk the way I do it. What business do you have? I just don't. Okay, so you actually don't have any business. You say I don't have any business. I say I do have business. I have the right to walk the way I do it. What I'm saying is right now, you're in and out of this court out, no problem. Not at all. Just because you say it doesn't make it true. Just because you say it does not make it true. I'm not interfering. People would have to be walking down this hallway three wide, hands locked for us to be interfering in Everybody's moving right up, moving through the metal detector with the house off. So you tell me, that's the definition of we're disturbing or we're interfering. No, we're not, sir. No, we're not, sir. No, we're not. No, no, no. You're creating a false narrative, sir. Yeah, absolutely. That's what they do in all the police reports. They create false narratives. Coming from you, dude, that is honestly hilarious. I mean, that's all you have been doing this whole time is creating a false narrative. Yeah. At this point, you're asking that. But I want to go inside and do what I'm walking in. I'm doing the NCRA.org. I would just walk around a publicly accessible area to record that's what NCR 8.115 says I can do. Okay, so are you refusing to leave? No. Okay, so you're not going to Because at that point, it's trespassing. On public property? Really? Yeah. Yeah, really? <laughs> you're so dumb. Are you, are you refusing to leave? Are you refusing to let me in to do what I'm lawfully allowed to do? If you're currently doing what you're doing right now, yes. What I'm lawfully yeah. allowed to do, I'm lawfully yeah. allowed. I'm lawfully allowed to do what I'm doing. You are. If you want to say I'm interfering, and disturbing, and then you want to unlawfully trespass me from the courthouse, that, 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 that's that's I've heard it a thousand times. Yeah. I'm giving you. I am giving you anti-police. I don't have to. I'm lawfully allowed to do it. You, you, you understand? If you understand? You understand? I'm facing that. I'm here at the proper time. You guys are welcome. I'm in the proper place. I'm in the proper place, and I'm conducting myself in the proper place. Okay. That's it. I can talk to anybody. Under the first amendment, it's not true. But it doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It's law. The courts are rule law. So what I'm constitutionally protected, I'm exercising my right. We're about to get this guy. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. All right. I'm going to find you. All right. You're not allowing any American people on the law. Okay. So, you already established that you don't say anything. No, you've established that. That don't mean it's true. All cops are liars. That's true. Uh, the Supreme Court said it's not a scam line. So, why not? Okay, so. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get real, 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 man. At this point, Spanky Pants has a couple options. He can either leave and have a lot of content for a clickbait video, or he can get arrested and start milking his fans for every dime he can so he can get money for uh, lawyers and legal fees and much more than that. Huh. Decisions. Decisions. I'm not writing away anything. Everybody's grabbing the place, putting their stuff in it, putting it through the paper, right. and going through the building detectors. Don't touch me. Yeah. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. And there you go. There goes Spanky Pants getting a new pair of shining bracelets for him to enjoy. 
Now that's good journalism, MCC. Good job. Also, terrific job of being a friend, allowing your uh, companion over there to um, take the arrest so you can get the content. Good job, buddy. That's a true friend. Wow. Who the hell? Who? They just arrested freaking. Hmm, that's interesting. <coughs> Arresting him for exercising his rights. That's lovely. That was ignorant of them. Wow. No, the only ignorance around here lays with you two idiots. Because you kept on misquoting, misunderstanding, or downright misrepresenting what that document said. Way to go on that for getting content of your friend getting arrested. Good job. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.